next Sunday is the first uh, Sunday of Advent. And usually people are, yay, the season of Christmas is beginning. We're singing carols. And, and often church said, mm, no, 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 no. You need to wait. You need to learn to delay your satisfaction. This is a time of waiting. This is not Christ Christmas. And the church presents itself in some sort of moral authority that knows better than the world. But the truth is, who wants to wait anymore? <laughs> that's that's the, not the world we live in. These days, you, you go online, you, you go on Amazon, you subscribe to the Prime service, and you click something, and the next day, it's delivered at your door. That's the way we, we live. So can we really blame the people, these, the people that says, can we go directly to the fun part, like uh, Jesus born in Bethlehem and the manger, and, and we love that story, and skip the boring part like the first reading of Advent from the Gospel according to Mark yes it's not necessarily what we think um, what would be the beginning of the season of Christmas the what we read in Mark 13 it's apocalyptic literature the son of man coming back in clouds and great power and glory so we're told to keep awake because we don't know when the master will be back and yes this is not an easy story we prefer like I said the story of Christmas uh, because that's the story we have heard so often to the point that sometimes we almost don't listen anymore you know you go to church and they start the reading about the the uh, the senses they have to go in Bethlehem and you're yeah yeah I know the story blah 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 and somehow it speaks about our approach to Christmas sometimes we're so busy so caught into the middle of it that we focus almost exclusively on their our, on our to-do list you know, we need to send a Christmas card, we need to make a, a donation to the food bank, uh, we need to decorate uh, while listening Christmas music, and it sounds like blah, 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 blah. It's, it, and it's feel that it is the way it was the previous year and the one before, and sort of routine, some, some form of numbness, I would say. But what if what if we decided to remain fully awoke during this time of Advent? What if we decide to make the effort to notice and to celebrate what is really good in our world? What if those who are struggling, what if, if they truly open themselves and invite this newborn the news of the the birth of a new a new baby in their life what if we let hope coming into our lives the hope that the news that the birth of a tiny baby can change the world what if we truly do this and see what would come and this is the message also the message of advent a message of hope peace, joy, love, a message that goes beyond what we think we know and a message of discovery. I hope your Advent will be a great time and until the next time we see each other, I remain Reverend Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.